Before we continue our countdown of the top 10 Mapua sports moments, pasyal muna tayo across the globe to meet up with one of the hottest basketball players that Mapua and the NCAA has produced. Here's our very own Martin Javier in a super exclusive interview with former Mapua Cardinal and NCAA basketball MVP, Kelvin De La Pena. Hey guys, once again, thank you so much for joining us. But today, we are joined by a certified NCAA legend. Siya lang naman po ay isang former NCAA Rookie of the Year, former NCAA MVP, and of course, he is also known as the former King Cardinal. Let's all welcome on the show, Mr. Kelvin De La Pena. What's up, guys? What's good, man? Okay, yeah. nasan ka ba ngayon? Unang una. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here in Canada. Kels, I understand that you, you first um, started playing basketball when you were back here in the Philippines mm -hmm. because you were raised here. So, yeah, I, I, I grew up sa Pilipinas. Si yung dad ko, he played PBA for a uh, number of years. Tapos, uh, I moved back to Pilipinas. I, I believe I was 20, 19 years old. Ugh. I just turned 20, like a couple of months, like weeks after. And I, really, I was 19. And then, yeah, that's how it was born, Philippines. But I went to Mapua, I went to Mapua, and see, si, si Dad, he said, well, off day natin ngayon, let's, let's go visit yung old school ko, yung, yung dati kong, Stomping grounds. Uh, let's just go visit my friends. Magdilim, in Jersey Mall. Just practice with them. And then the first day of practice, I think they bought me a pair of shoes. Okay. Everybody was my brothers. And to this day, it was natural for me to be to be in a group that's welcoming. Speaking of these, you know, challenges, the hardships that you had to go through. Yeah. Um, feeling mo ba naging worth it yung mga Sacrifices. yung pag transfer mo? For me, I left. I family. I left my parents. I left my friends. Um, I left Canada, basically. My life here in Canada, where, like what you said, it was somewhat um, already set. Naman. So there was no choice. I had to get Rookie of the Year. I wanted to get Rookie of the Year. I wanted to get all the accolades, the mga, mga awards. Because I, I, you know, I give up a lot. So when I won the Rookie of the Year, it absolutely felt good. And you were on your way to becoming an NCAA MVP as well, which you got in mm -hmm. uh, NCAA season 93, and you were the top dog in Mapua already. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the feeling like nung, nung, nung nasa taas ka na yun? For me, when I won the MVP, it was like, it was like so surreal na, it's not, it's not just, it's, yeah, it's not just like basketball. It was like everything in life for me was working. You know, you started experiencing yeah. back spasms, but you chose to play through it. Yeah. Uh, para, para kasi kailangan ka ng team mo. Mm -hmm. paano, paano, paano mo ginawa yan? During practice, I, pag ikot ko, nag-seize na ako, hindi, I couldn't move my body anymore. So that's when it all started, man. That's what happened. I think yung year na yon, I, I really hit rock bottom. I really, really did. I hit rock bottom. Um, I was humbled. It was. I questioned my faith. I questioned everything. You know, I was suicidal. I was depressed. Um, and you're one of the guys. And then all of a sudden, overnight, it was like boom. It was like. Yeah. I remember going to rehab. Like I was doing my exercises. Those me because I it just it was so painful. It was so painful. Painful internally because. Ano eh, talagang I struggled to accept na I will no longer be who I was. Tapos in in a, in a physical sense, talagang masakit eh. It was like I wouldn't I wouldn't wish anybody to go through that injury, right? Like go hindi ko mafeel. It just changed a lot, right? So 2013, um, I went home sa Canada to really rehab. I had a serious conversation with my family um, and my girlfriend uh, at that time. So, yeah, it just was like, well, what do you want to do? So, um, I coach, I coach ako ng college dito uh -huh. um, for women's and men's. Bakit mo naisip na simulan yung Rise Up Coach? Marami mga bata na lumalapit sa akin, coach, you know, questioning me. 
how did you do it? And it just kind of evolved from there. And when I started training one or two, um, yung co-founder ko, uh, Alejandra, Alejandra Gutierrez, she pushed me to to train these kids and to really inspire them. Now we over we almost have four, at least five, over 500 kids. I want to make sure yung mga bata ko sa program ko, and I want them to experience the whole Philippine basketball. Kasi ibang klase talaga Philippine basketball. I took a group of kids, I believe nine or eight sila. You know, I told them, when you guys are ready, um, maybe maybe we can go to the Philippines, my experience in your Pilipinas. And we did that, we did that 2019. And the most fulfilling is for me is, I truly don't do this for the money, right? I do it for the love of it, man. When I see a kid, and if this sounds, you know, corny, maybe corny to some people. The most fulfilling for me is when I go home at night, I can go to sleep at night knowing that I had a good practice. Always, always, always do it for the right reasons. Um, always do it with full heart and full love. Give it your best. My journey was taken away just like that. If you give your best and if you go hard, um, wala kang regrets, no regrets, no regrets. You never know you might reach the top and you never know um, you might be one day, hopefully, one of the legends to come out of that city.